Family Watch, your weekly source of information and inspiration on marriage, parenting, and Catholic family life. Ako si Manjo na pansamantalang solo flight ngayong araw. At Family Watch, we believe that the path to the renewal of society and transformation of the church begins in and through the family. We believe in strengthening marriages, empowering parents, and bringing families closer to Christ. We want to encourage parents, even teachers, to think about their mission and the things that matter most. Forming children with character and conscience, faithful to the convictions that we have taught them, and guiding our families towards heaven. Sa huli nating podcast, we saw how consumerism detracts from the true meaning of Christmas. Ang topic natin po ngayon ay born to serve, not to shop. And you guessed it. Ang pag-uusapan natin, ang komersyalismo sa panahon ng Pasko, ang masamang epekto nito sa ating mga anak, and how do we deal with it as parents. Ang mga guest natin ngayon, ay mag-asawa mula sa US of A, ang bansa kung saan ang Pasko ay hindi lang season of giving, kundi season of spending, shopping, advertising, and commercialization. Ang lalaki si Sibong is a mechanical engineer from UP with a master's from Washington University and is currently based in Cincinnati for Procter & Gamble. Si Steph has a psychology degree also from Washington University, and I guess that's where they met. And yeah. she's a stay-at-home mom. Steph has been uh, blogging, um, and she will tell us more about that later. Married mm-hmm. sila for 31 years with children ages 29, 24, 22, six, uh, 18, 11, and they have two grandchildren. And can you beat this? homeschoolers sila for the past 20 years. Welcome to Family Watch, Bong and Steph Patag. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Manjo. Bong, can you tell us, I, I talked about yung ano, eh, professional involvement mo, eh, but uh, the mo, more interesting uh, part to sa, sa yung CV ay yung involvement mo as volunteer dad sa American Heritage Girls and Trail Life USA. Okay. Paano ba nangyari ito? Yeah. So maybe I'll backtrack a little bit. Uh, we were actually involved in uh, the Boy Scouts of America nung, nung naging interesado na yung mga lalaki ko. No? So yung last um, uh, position ko sa Boy Scouts of America, Scoutmaster ng troop ng mga boys namin and then they mm-hmm. eventually nag-Eagle Scouts sila. And then when the policy changed with the Boy Scouts, uh, yung Trail Life USA became the Christ-centered uh, um, alternative to scouting. So we got involved with that because Sinino, yung pinakabata namin, was just starting. So we blanket hold uh, moved that the family. Yung American oh. Heritage Girls naman, that's been, ano, matagal na dito, dito nag-umpisa sa Cincinnati. When in, naging interesado naman yung younger daughter namin, uh, I immediately went ahead and uh, together with Steph, we volunteered as uh, leaders uh, for mm-hmm. that, uh, again, Christ-centered uh, scouting option. So that, that's what Para siyang involved. yung ano eh, uh, counterpart ng um, Christian, Christian counterpart. Okay. 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 So yeah, and uh, then, para lang sa ano, kapakanan ng ating mga listeners na hindi masyadong malinaw, ano ba yung policy change na sinabi mo, Bong? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ang, ang naging nang, nangyari dito sa Boy Scouts of America, uh, they allowed uh, to have uh, adult um, gay leaders be part of the troop. Na openly, openly, openly gay. gay leaders. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. Uh, para sa akin, it's morally wrong to expose our children to that yeah. type of lifestyle. And I would could not imagine my my boys going through that right? so. uh, dito sa Pilipinas ginagawang biro yung uh, girl scout na lalaki o oh, oh, boy scout na biro oh, pa yeah, yeah. pero sa Amerika parang hindi na biro ano talagang uh, in embrace na talaga ng kultura niya yung uh, naka it was very disappointing kasi ang ganda ng legacy ng boy scouts 100 years oh, oh, oh. Uh, being focused talaga 
uh, and politics came in and uh, so hindi so, ayun eh naging politics driven yeah, yeah. yung uh, instead oh, oh, na yeah. religious Boys. But we have a very good alternative now. So. Yeah. Oh, happy for you. Oh. Yes. Steph, kwento mo naman yung ano, pagbablog mo. Ang dami mo nang binablog uh, mo. Okay. Well, nag- bale, I, di na ako food blogger ngayon. So, I guess that's not really uh, accurate anymore. Pero nag-start ako ng blogging mga 2004-2005. Um, tapos, I worked for several food blogging networks. Uh, mga tatlo. Uh, pero lahat na sila ngayon ano na, defunct na. Tapos uh, that, that went on for a few years. Tapos I started writing for Filipinos for Life. Tapos uh, I started writing for Patios. Uh, I don't do those anymore either. Tapos um, we went to Pinay Voices naman. I still blog off and on dun sa And These Die Gifts. Um, pero mostly sa Facebook na ako active ngayon dun sa And These Die Gifts page ko. Tapos yeah. I'm I'm working on a pro-life novel right now for young adults. Okay. So para dun sa mga gustong sumunod kay Steph, ang pangalan ng blog niya ay And These Thy Gifts. Yan. Salamat. Oh, sige. Punta tayo dun sa ano, dun sa malaman na usapan. Didiretsuhin yes. ko na. Dun sa, sa ngayon kasi, no, napaka-secular ng celebration ng Christmas, no? So how how would you say you 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 like vaccinate your children laban do sa epide- epidemic ng consumerism at materialism no kasi parang uh, it, it's all around you Nag- nagsimula sa America yeah. pero dumating na rin sa shores ng Pilipinas to eh. so bigyan natin ng counting yeah. tips yung mga mga magulang na nakikinig at kahit mga teachers no paano ba natin lalabanan yun yeah. uh, so nung uh, nakita ko nga itong topic na ito Ang unang naisip ko, a few years ago, gumawa kami na listahan na sa family. No? Ito, nakapaskil to sa refrigerator namin for so many years na. Um, and I can send you a copy. Pero the theme was, uh, I put, uh, give time, talent, give treasure. So, over the years, habang, syempre, tumatanda yung mga bata, yung theme namin has been give as opposed to get. right? Yeah. So, parang yun na yung mindset uh, at, at that point and habang lumalaki naman itong mga bata nakita namin na they're more concerned about giving even if their time kahit yung bonso namin <laughs> pag dumarating dito yung mga apo he's talagang volunteer siya kagad na hey I'm gonna play with them take care of them you know uh, whatever uh, and and we've seen that both in action tsaka yung uh, the way they behave with uh, volunteer opportunities diba? kasi nga we're involved in in scouting, oh, uh, there's uh-huh. a lot of volunteer opportunities. There. Siguro yun din na naging tulong na give instead of receive. So, as a family, hindi kami talaga masyadong affected dun sa, <laughs> so, sa so secularism. Ma- oh, yeah, the, 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 you know, consumerism, oh. materialist. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Tapos ang, yeah. ang isang ano, ang uh, bong kasi is big on following Dave Ramsey. And spend, pali save, tapos uh-huh. save, make money, give, ganon. Tapos ano naman yung, uh, as regards to Christmas, ano, ang isang ginagawa talaga namin is we try to observe Advent. Uh-huh. Na uh, hindi yung Advent pa lang, Christmas na kaagad, you know. Uh, talagang we observe yung ano, so like yung Christmas tree namin ngayon, purple and pink pa lang yung decorations mm-hmm. niya. Uh, we listen only to Advent music. We try not to play Christmas music sa bahay habang hindi pa Christmas. Mm-hmm. Para talagang ang focus is yung preparation. Tapos mayroon kami ng Advent tree. Yung ganun. So more focused on, tapos this year we're doing yung Gospel of Luke. Right. So we read one chapter a night. Yeah. So parang mas focus siya on preparing our hearts. For Christmas, hindi yung ano. Siyempre, meron din silang mga ano na, I want this, I want that. Yeah. Uh, kasama naman yun. Pero ano, uh, yun lang ang focus nga yung pagbigay. So like kahit yung 11 year old namin, siyempre siya yung pinakabata. So kumbaga siya yung medyo mas prone sa, I want this, I want that. Oh. Uh, pero tinatry namin na turuan nga na, ano yung, oh, sige, tatanggap ka sigurado, pero ano yung mabibigay mo. Kahit na it's not something you buy maybe something you make or maybe letter na you write to your siblings yung mga tipong ganong mm-hmm. classic gifts oh, oh. um yung ano yung yung tradi- yung 
Advent preparation, no? nakita rin namin yan doon sa previous episode na kung saan may guest kaming couple, kung paano mm-hmm. nila pinaghahandaan yung Advent. Share niyo pa yung iba yung, ano, yung um, religious or spiritual practices para uh, related doon sa preparation din ng Advent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, yun, importante uh, yung going to confession at least uh, once a month. A well, regular practice na ito, no? pero specifically oh. for Advent, uh, yung typical, uh, we light the, the Advent candles, we say oh. the prayer before the meal, you know, we light the oh. candles and have our meal together, tapos yun, enjoy. And of course, we, we nightly naman, talaga nagro-rosary kami, so yeah. it's not really any more additional <laughs> Um, ah. you know, medyo mas konting yeah. mas special yeah, ng special. Yeah. Yeah. so like so, diba, yung, yung 18 year old tsaka yung 21 mm-hmm. year old ba, ay 22 pala sorry uh, this year ang part of preparation ng Advent is they're re-consecrating mm-hmm. yeah. I think ang consecration nila this year is are you doing St. Joseph or, or Mary pa din babat yeah, yung Mary. kay Father Gately I think okay. so okay. basta yun lang parating may focus na yung Christmas hindi siya basta buying nga and ano and getting gifts and shopping it's it's really preparation of the heart mm-hmm. for for Jesus' coming nakita ko yung ano yung, yung mga Facebook account ng inyong mga anak and nakita ko um, so exposed sila sa social media Obviously. Yes. So, yeah. how does one live a spirit of poverty or spirit of detachment amidst yung napaka-curated na, na, na mga bagay nakikita nila sa social media? May mga kaibigan nila parang they, they post everything na yung mga yeah. regalo na tatanggap. No? How, do you, how do you live in ganong klaseng kultura? Yeah, so so I think um, na-mention ko na nga no? yung daily rosary namin. And um, the thing we focus on is hindi yung wala kami kung hindi syempre, we count our blessings <laughs> number one. Tapos we also nung period na yun, we ask for the petitions because we know a lot of people are hurting much, much more than we can't even say we're hurting at oh, all. Oh, oh, oh. So I think yung daily rosary kind of grounds us with again counting our blessings and then uh, asking for those petitions. Tapos ang Ang isa pang ginagawa namin, and this has been going on for many years, is we have a family journal. You know, we sit oh. down, pag, usually pag Sunday, same thing. We we go around, <laughs> tigi-tigi sa account our blessings, ano yung mga maganda yung, wow. mga, yung mga positive. Kasi maganda rin na, and we read sometimes. So, siguro, Previous go, entries from five years, years, from years, ten years. Ago. Wow, years. galing. Ilang taon na ba yung, yung family namin. journal na yan? Ilang taon na yan? Oh. Oh. Sinart niya yun nung ano, when yung number two child namin was born. Uh, so yun, nag, uh, we still try to get together every Sunday. Tapos mm-hmm. yun din, ano, we go around sharing blessings. Yeah. Tsaka siguro ang, ang huling thought ko dito, no? pag may naisip silang bibilin, uh, ginagawa namin practice even as, is it a need or a want? So yung, yun nga, yung... Uh, focusing on what do we really need. <laughs> it's okay. You, you, there's okay, okay lang to have wants, but isipin mo muna, di ba? Yeah. Talaga bang <laughs> kailangan bilhin? So, that's another way to look at it. Because <laughs> in terms of, ano, uh, exposure naman, yung sabi mo yung social media, yung mga, ano, well, first of all, kasi, wala talaga kaming TV since, ano ba yan? Uh, uh, early 2000s. Yeah. Uh, wala, Hindi kami, wala kami TV. Wala kami namin to advertisement. Very limited. Uh, Siyempre ngayon, since yung mga bata na sa social media, Instagram, etc. Mas marami na sila nakikita. Mas marami na rin. Uh, Pero uh, yun nga, since lumaki sila na medyo away sila from yung constant barrage uh, of buy this, buy that. Medyo mas nag-guard na sila against that. Tapos, ano okay, din, medyo yeah. habit na rin namin na pag may naririnig na ad. Uh, we tend to criticize na oh, gusto tayo bentahan yan yung ganyan ba so parang family worldview siya na ang ads talaga are there uh-huh. to get you to buy yep. uh, so parating ang ano pag merong may gustong bilhin bounce off muna do sa iba uh, tanong mo muna sa kuya mo tanong mo sa ating mo that's a good buy yung parang ganyan brainstorm muna uh, ta- alam mo pangalawang pamilya alam, palang kayo na alam ko na walang television sa bahay <laughs> 
Ang hirap gawin doon. <laughs> Ay, we don't have internet. Oh, oh, oh. Na iba naman oh, yung ano. Ang problema kasi kahit, yun nga, wala kang ang television ngayon, pero bombarded ka rin ng advertising, oh. lalo na oh, yung advertising oh, oh. Sa, sa social media is directed towards our children. Yeah, na parang, yeah, yeah. andun pa rin, ano? So, kung hindi oh. mo na, na cultivate yung yung self-restraint o yung temperance no, sa oh, oh. bata, talagang, eh, Madadala yeah. rin siya eh. No? Tapos oh, yeah. siyempre, hindi yeah. naman lang yun. Oh. May mga kaibigan oh. din sila sa labas. No? So, oh. Oh. punta tayo dun sa ano. Pero, pero gusto ko muna mag-comment dun sa nasabi nyo na you, you sa family journal nyo, sinasabi nyo, you write things that you're grateful for. No? Um, gusto kong malaman no. sa inyo kung yung, yung, pag, yung fostering ng attitude, ng gratitude lagi. Anong ep- ano nakita nyo naging epekto ngayon doon sa ngayon adult children nyo na? Ano eh, uh, maganda dahil nakikita nila yung mga barkada nila, yung mga family situation, mga kaibigan, etc. Ang nadidinig ko sa kanila, they really appreciate yung how close we are as a family, yung mga practices namin na they don't hear from their friends, uh-huh. di ba? Yeah. Um, so in a way, it's actually very rewarding that they they we brought role model. Nakita nila and they're following suit. Kahit yung, yung si Isa, anak namin, may mga traditions na sila na talagang as a family they stick together. Uh, I guess yung yung asawa niya, my very good son-in-law. We have the same habits. We like being at home with our wife, <laughs> with our family. Okay lang, pero I don't really care for it because my barcada is my family. So oh. I see that in the home. Pag, nan, pag nandito kami lahat, I mean, nandito kami lahat, <laughs> barcada. Siyempre, may mga lakad sila as, as young adults, pero still, home is, I can feel. Yeah, they, they know they, yung they blessings share. nila uh, dito. Uh, and and they see they tend to look at life or at least syempre nag pareho nitong last year na to na with mm. covid and everything syempre dumadaan yung ano na parang ano na medyo nagde-depress depress din i mean kasi sino ba naman ang hindi negatively oh. affected oh. by by what's happened this year talagang kumbaga oh. talagang the rug was pulled out from under all of us mm. you know na sobrang change nung buhay bigla pero ang um, nakikita ko naman so far, mukhang okay naman sila na talagang na, mas nakikita pa rin nila na we're still very blessed. Mm-hmm. Despite everything na nangyayari, despite sa mga naging changes sa boy, despite the disappointments, mm-hmm. na nandun yung alam nila na we can look at all of those and, you know, and despair or we can say, but you know what? We have to be thankful for this. We have, you know, we have our family. We are mm-hmm. relatively healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, and dami pa rin blessing and it's still outweighed pa rin ng blessing yung buhay namin than, than oh, hardship. Tsaka oh, oh. mm-hmm. tingin ko ang uh, naking big influence din yung homeschooling. No? Kasi <laughs> parati kami magkakasama and actually itong COVID situation has even been a bigger blessing for me personally because now I get to work from home. <laughs> Di ba? Nandito ako sa bahay. <laughs> so, so mas enjoy ako ngayon pag medyo tapos na ako sa trabaho, basketball na kami sa labas, wala nang drive-drive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yung so time more, ko more talaga, time. talagang quantity and quality na. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Di ba? Yeah. Yung, yung pop, uh, kanina gusto ko itanong, no? coming from yeah. a large family, tapos yeah. exposed yeah. yung mga anak nyo sa mga, yeah. syempre, iba-ibang, iba-ibang economic uh, situation, iba-ibang economic, uh, how do you call this? economic status ng mga pamilya no syempre may mga well off diyan no yeah, yeah. so don't don't the children feel deprived deprived in a in a sense na parang sila may ganito kami wala ganun hmm. tapos bakit yung mga damit namin mga hand me down ganun hand me down <laughs> kaibigan na we <laughs> De, alam ko yon kasi malaki rin pamilya ko yeah, sanay kami sa kanya yeah. uh-huh. oh. I, I i guess siguro umpisan ko muna na alam ko, tanong mo sa mga anak na, pero kung pag reflect ko, I grew up in a home na, yung, yung home namin, uh, parating may, may relatives kami na nagpupunta to stay with us, literally to live with us until they get back on their feet. So, habang lumalaki ako, wala akong 
feeling na ako yung deprived kasi nakikita ko yung sitwasyon ng mga ibang kapamilya ko. So, uh-huh. with that as a background, and ganun din sila, Steph, no? Nagpa, madami sila mm-hmm. kamag-anak, kinulungan, lived in their uh-huh. home, etc. Uh-huh. So, pag nung we had the chance na inuwi lahat namin yung mga bata, na nakita nila, humble beginnings namin as as uh, kids growing up in the Philippines. So, nakita nila, okay, dito galing si mami tsaka si daddy. <laughs> nakita nila yung living conditions ng mga ibang kamag-anak namin. They, they've seen how it is. So, yung exposure na lang na yun, real time <laughs> na they lived it, even for a, you know, a week or two or whatever, when they come back, alam nila na Iba talaga dito. And we're not wanting for anything. Uh, and they're, they're co- yeah, I was just going to say they're, they're so go. confident in themselves uh, in, in the love that we have amongst ourselves. The, the, it doesn't matter what how other people are living because we're uh, happy. Uh, I see that uh, in them uh, genuinely. Right? I have no worries. Uh, mm. Ako naman, ang, ano, ang nakikita ko naman, ang early tinuturo namin sa mga bata nga is, we have the basics. Mm-hmm. You know, may pagkain kami, mayroon kaming damit, you know, we have a roof over our heads. Yep. You know, yung, yung kumbaga yung basic-basic needs ng tao para mabuhay, mm-hmm. we have them. So, when you have the basics, angat ka na eh. Yeah, you know, parang uh-huh. ang daming tao that don't even have those yeah. things. So parang for them to even have those basics, that's really something to be thankful for. Na hindi na kailangan na mag-ambition ng, you know, ng so much above those things. I mean, well, syempre, they have they have their own goals, their own ambitions. And yun din ang sinasabi naman namin, if, if pag may gusto sila bilhin halimbawa, no, and it's too much for us. Yung sinasabi, hindi magtrabaho ka. pag mo, uh, uh, you know, yeah. if you really want to buy it, uh, kahit na baga luxury level siya, kung gusto mo talaga, di sige, pag-ipunan mo. Pag, you work for yeah, it. Yeah, you work uh, for it. It's okay. Yeah. Tapos yun, they do that. So, nasa kanila yung satisfaction na ano hindi yung basta binili lang namin. Oh, sige, gusto mo yan. It's yours. Kahit yung mga kotse nila. I mean, my mom Not marvels <laughs> na dami namin kotse. You know, but our adults basically saved up money, nagtrabaho, nag-ipon. Uh-huh. They bought their cars cash. Their cash. Uh, so hindi oh, so, utang yeah so para may sarili silang transportation uh, uh, ayun tapos you know, so, so they know they know that they need to work hard <laughs> balikan ko yung ano yung nakwento ni Bong kanina yung nakita nila yung sitwasyon ng mga kamag-anak ninyo galing sa yeah. Pilipinas no ito ba pinoprocess niyo pa sa kanila o di, parang di, automatic ba they draw their own conclusions tapos okay si adjust tayo o magbabaguhin na namin yung mindset namin. May ano ba ba? May, may family discussions pa ba sa mga ganitong bagay? Um, obvious. Sa akin, I don't recall he- any heavy family conversations about that kasi ano, they're, they're intelligent. I mean, matitinig oh. naman mga bata. No? Very observant sila. Um, oh. Tsaka tingin ko din, no? sige, nakita na lang sa Pilipinas. At the same time, because we were heavily involved in our in scouting. Yung mga volunteer opportunities din namin na pinupunta na sa family. Mm. Eh, ito lang COVID, medyo natigil, no? Pero we would volunteer ba sa St. Vincent de Paul, yeah. yung mga food pantries, eh, yung mga ganun. Nakikita nila yung really the other side of the tracks. Ano classic na, volunteer work yun, Bong? Yung ginagawa so, niya for that. So Kasi hindi kami to, familiar doon, eh. Oh, oh. Kasi dito madami, no? madami opportunities. One of our, in fact, yung oldest son namin, si Paco, ang talaga naging parang go connection. To, oh, parang siyang go-to person ng St. Vincent. Ng mga po. volunteer. So, as a family, we used to, before COVID, go to St. Vincent de Paul once a month. Doon sa St. Vincent de Paul, meron silang food pantry where pag Sabado, magpupunta yung mga homeless, yung mga, okay. mga indigent. Tapos uh, ang, ang pwede mong gawin, you either help spread out the food, fill up the shelves. Um, Para siyang grocery. Uh, pero lahat, uh, ng, lahat ng laman ng shelves, lahat donation uh, from uh, either mga local ano, uh, local bakeries, uh, yeah. local produce, local farmers, yung mga canned goods, etc. Yeah. etc. Pwede ka rin mag-donate. Uh, pero mm-hmm. yung volunteer time namin 
it spent filling the shelves para organize siya para mukha siyang grocery mm-hmm. tapos um sinasamahan yung mga shoppers yun that, that that's the one na pinaka importante do sa volunteer na yun the kids have the opportunity to interact yeah. with the individual or with the family oh, oh. and they they have a list no ginaguide nila oh this is what you can get X yeah, number of cans, ba, meron silang this, seven this. people in ah, the family ah, merong guidelines yung ah, ano yung allowed sila to get oh, based on yeah. by oh so you can have ah. you know, three loaves of bread you you can have up to 10 pieces of this fruit or whatever ganun tapos in the oh. course of that syempre nakikipag-usap sila mm-hmm. eh, maganda they they're able to even bata pa si Nino they relate mm-hmm. to the oh, you know the, oh, oh, they see oh. They see the family situations. Gusto ko pag, uh, pagtuon natin pansin ngayon, kabilang side ng coin. Kasi baka sabihin mm. ng mga tao, uh, wow, this family is so almost perfect, no? Paano naman kaya yung, yung halimbawa, may mga bata na nipinalaki sa isang consumerist family o sa isang consumerist na household tapos mm. um, dinala nila to hanggang maging adult sila. Anong klase mga problema ang pwede nilang harapin pag naging mm. pag nagkaroon sila sarili nilang pamilya? Yeah. Anong, anong pwedeng consequences doon? Well, uh, ang sa akin, no, kasi alam ko din yung mga sitwasyon ng mga ibang pamilya. Um, pag masyadong attached to consumer things, ang napapansin ko na mga usap-usap namin ng mga uh, parents, no? Uh, yung malayo yung mga anak sa kanila. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi sila yung go-to person ng mga anak nila pag may problema. No? Dun, dun talaga nagkaka, nag-uumpisa yung detachment from the children um, and more, more on looking for solutions from things or comfort for from things or from other people diba so parang nakasira nakasira ng 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 family dynamics would be one thing that i would see would be a bad outcome of that yes yeah. how about si Steph? Um, ang ano ko na ang napapansin ko yung pag lumaki na ganun parang they tend to pass it on to their mm. kids yung ano na kasi you oh, can't really oh. give oh. What you don't have, eh. Uh-oh. Okay? Or what you don't know. Or, or what you don't know. Yeah. So, uh-huh. kung, ang, kung ang tipong naging mentality mo na lumalaki ka is want, 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 buy, buy, buy. Ang, mm-hmm. ang hirap ituro sa anak na huwag ka ganun. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kasi, uh-huh. syempre, pinaka-importante example mo, eh. Mm-hmm. Kung nakikita ng bata na buy this, buy that, you know, uh, parating trying to keep up with uso to, uso yon. Mm-hmm. Uh, ang hirap sabihin sa anak na huwag ka makikiuso kasi, you know, you don't need to. Uh, oh, so yun siguro, oh. ang ano is awareness sa sarili na to realize na ano ba ginagawa ko sa buhay ko? Is this, is this really how I want to live my life? Is this really how I want to teach my children na ganito ang buhay? So, uh, y- that's what my main thing would be. Anong, anong may papayo nyo sa mga magulang halimbawa na, na, na realize nila ngayon na well, mm-hmm. parang parang binibili ko yung pagmamahal ng mga anak ko sa so pagbibigay ko ng maraming material na bagay no paano sila magkakambyo paano sila magbabago ng style parang instant ba ganun magagawa nila yon yeah sa akin ang ang, ang think ko a quick adjustment no first of all do they pray as a family okay. siguro yun ang first simple step okay. and maybe not even heavy siguro prayer during meal di ba uh-huh. yung okay uh, pag Sunday magkakasama tayong lahat we're gonna at least have one meal together let's all pray that's a start and then build up to a rosary <laughs> uh-huh. every day so you know counting shift ng focus to counting our blessings whether as opposed to wanting more diba yun ang parang uh-huh. no, kasi dun na mindset lang, eh mindset. yun na lang tape People blessing, bless, oh, oh, bless us, bless, oh, oh Lord, Lord and, yeah. and these guy oh, oh, So, oh, oh. Yung, yung spirit of parati kang thankful for, for the people around you, for the meal, you know, for the time together. Yeah. Yung ganun, yung shift na grateful ka sa blessings. Oh, oh maganda nga so, maybe another thing. Simula. Uh, yeah. Simple adjustment also, siguro, 
hindi eh, naman kailangan mag-journal ka agad. No? Yun lang, go around the table. Oh, ano, What are you thinking? Anong mga maganda nangyari sa you this week? Or usap-usap lang para everybody share. Mm-hmm. Uh, equal air time, di ba? Ayun yung, yung gratitude. Mag- oh, gratitude. Yeah, gratitude, atin. yeah, yeah. Pag-iisip oh. sila eh. Oo oh, oh, nga pala. No? Ang ganda yeah. nito. Kasi madaling, madaling mag-desatisfy. Madaling eh. Kung talagang yeah. gusto mong mag-desatisfy, madaling mo i-cultivate yung thinking na gano'n na yeah. I don't have this, I don't have that. Right. You know? Pero pag shift mo yung thinking mo na, teka, you know, I have this. Oo, oh, nangyari po dito sa akin. No? Okay. Yeah. Na, 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 napapangiti ako kasi <laughs> naisip <thoughts>. ko na, <laughs> na, 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 naisip ko na kung ano yung po pwede namin gawin din sa aming family oh. rosary so instead of mentioning maybe petitions we yes. maybe thanksgiving for ano yung magandang nangyari sa amin yeah. Yeah. Papali, pwede i-alternate namin sa aming prayer right. petitions yeah. nakita ko na yeah. Yeah. salamat to sa tip na yun um gusto ko pang magtanong pero medyo paubos na yung oras. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sana maimbita namin kayo ulit at sana ma-meet niyo iba kong mga co-host. Oh, <laughs> nag- nag-enjoy ako sa ating conversation. Um, you have any uh, parting shots for our uh, audience? Yeah. I guess uh, salamat ulit. Uh, <laughs> really appreciate na ano magandang usapan dahil it helps us also as a couple na reinforce and learning from you as well and uh, we wish everybody uh, maligayang Pasko oh. <laughs> tsaka manigong bagong taon thank you oh. how about you Steph? Uh, same <laughs> <laughs> salamat salamat sa opportunity to share uh, and ano uh, let's all be thankful dahil maraming maraming blessing this year Even with COVID, let's look at the bagay, silver lining. There's always a silver lining. Yeah. So, so as our parting Bible verse for today, I will quote from the first letter of John, chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust enticement for the eyes and a pretentious life is not from the father but is from the world yet the world and its enticement are passing away but whoever does the will of god remains forever ito po ulit ang inyong host si Manjo Mendoza if you got this far thank you for watching kung nagustuhan niyo itong video please give us a thumbs up for comments on how we can improve or suggestions on what topics we can cover please type them in the comment box below. Please know that we read all of your comments. A blessed Christmas to all.